Hi, welcome back. I'm about to restart round three, era three. Join me at the end and we'll play through era six and do our final scoring. Welcome back then. Things have moved on a little bit. You're joining me at the start of the sixth era. We have managed to build a city down here in our arts world, which is what we were aiming for. I'm feeling really confident actually. The automaton has not developed too much. It's got a couple of towns. I've got four towns. And I've, I've managed to kind of keep his lands separated as much as possible. Um, so these aren't joined, these aren't joined. Which means I've left him in a position where he can't build any towns and cities now. There's been quite a lot of warfare, particularly over here in Nina, where he was trying to do quite a lot of um, development. So I've managed to keep that curtailed. All right, let's head in. We'll turn over the final new era chit, which is going to be Santa Maria growth, which, again, this, is, this has kind of stopped me a little bit. Uh, with this Caribbean land because we've not been able to grow beyond that town. Once you get your foothold with a town it's hard to combat. That's a two gold reward each for that new era chit. Uh, one thing Automaton has been able to do is collect quite a lot of gold. So that's going to be what, 12 points. You get a point for each of those. But I didn't manage to get my final art which was a little bit unfortunate, but here we go, let's see what have we got in the final turn. Any type of military, I like that one. Um, era 6 bonuses tend to be really good. Okay, we've got double points. These ones here, they're going to give you double points in uh, P for Pinta. These are cathedrals. And you can also see here we've got a bonus city. I've managed to keep a very firm grip on military. Unfortunately, they have been grabbing first player, and that has caused me a few problems. And uh, we're going to see that again at the end of Era 6. They're going to grab botany first. And that is a shame, because I'd like to have taken astronomy, chemistry, and botany with the extra city. I'm worried about upgrading religion, because I know he's strong in religion, so I might have to let that go, get a city in religion, grab this one, um, and I'll have three Catholicism. I think that might be enough. I've seen quite a lot come out. Let's get the state of war running. We've got to place all three this time. Okay. I do want to get into Santa Maria with my explorer. Now, I'm having some real problems here, because I took the gold, which was a bit foolish in the last round. I plundered a civilization here and up in Pinta. And as a consequence, I'm only going to send one settler to each of the other two worlds. Let's draw for the automaton. It's got science. Science world is Santa Maria. Yes, so he's going off here first as well, um, which is a bit of a drag because. That's where I wanted to go, and he's first player. So once uh, captain, one settler, then Nina, and then Pinta, two settlers. This is going to be tricky, I feel. I'll pay one, two, five. Let's see where he sends Santa Maria, the Rockies. Oh, that's not too bad actually. He's going to explore. So, Rockies. Let's see what we get here. Two gold and some woodland. I haven't seen much woodland so far. Now me, I'm heading in the same 
place. We're going to unload. This has only got a population of two here. So I'm going to have to migrate one somewhere else down here. Puppy's next with Nina and it's going to Isthmus. Uh, here I have a settler. Now remember the order. Consider attacking first, then consolidating, then exploring. So he's going to attack. I lost my foothold in the Isthmus. Pinter, what did I want to do? I just wanted to consolidate my position somewhere. But I think everything's maxed out. Automata is finally Isthmus in Pinter. So he's coming in here. He can't dock because. I've already got captain here, so we go clockwise. He's not attacking because he doesn't have a captain. Yeah, I think he's maxed out, so he's going to just go where he can get the most revenue. We'll pop him here. Yeah, doesn't really matter. We'll put him around here. It's the first clockwise town from Isthmus. That one's not going to give any revenue. One, two, three from here. These two are connected. And finally, I've got one settler, Minya. And I can't dock here in the Isthmus, but that's alright. I would have liked to, because then I would have got 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of here. I can consolidate here because of this. Population is now 2, pushing me to 3. Now let's govern. We'll stop with this one. So that's only uh, 2. Do anything with that. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Next, that's only three. Three. And I think he will go for Santa Maria. That's one. Bringing Captain back. They could potentially build one, two. He doesn't have three. No, he doesn't have three Rockies. He'd have gotten this one, he could have built. So no, he's not building. Let's take the money. Next, I think I'll go for... I've got a town here. Amazonia. And a town over there in Amazonia. So I can't build a city in both. You can only build... There's only one Amazonian city. The question is, do I think I can pip him at religion? I think I do. I think I do. So... Let's count up our goal. He's going to mine one. Let me count up our points. We've got one, two, six for this. Two, four, six. That's eight, nine, ten. We need nine to build a city. Okay, let's go for the Andes here. So we'll build. Yeah, and I think that was. Uh, we remove a settler. Next, he sails back from Pinta. He's got one, two, three. One, two, three. We've got the Andes over here, so he can't build a town. Again, he's stuck because these aren't connected. If these were connected, he'd have three connected lands. Remember, three connected lands in order to get diverse enough resources to build a town. So he's just taking his three money and sailing back. I'm really pleased with the way we've been able to limit his development. And now finally over here in Pinta, I've got none, none. One, two, four, and then three for a city. Two for a town, three for a city. So three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So that's enough to upgrade a town to a city. I need six to do that, remember? So let's put Amazonia, take six, get one change, bring it home. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's nine, so I get two more. Two more gold. Well, that city building hasn't left me with a lot, a lot of choices. But, okay, let's kick off. He's going to take this one. Oh, I don't want him to take the cathedral. It's going to cost me three gold to take the cathedral and give him chemistry. 
thing is these cathedrals can only be placed in a land with a town but no city. None of us have them. He's got no towns in Pinter, so I'm, yeah, I'm quite happy to let him take those. So let's pay my three. And I do want Catholicism, I do want chemistry, and I quite like Santa Maria up here. Let's take Catholicism. We'll take this one. It does actually work differently for the automaton. So he's less likely to build cities and towns. Um, he will get some bonus points instead for that cathedral. Price goes up to four. I'm going to pay the four. This might be my last chance because I've only got four left and the next one's going to cost five. Ouch. Now I could take the nine gold. Which would give me a few more things, but if I take the nine gold, he'll get chemistry. That's all right. Let's do it. Let's take the nine gold. He'll take chemistry. The cost goes up to five, and I'll buy Santa Maria's Cathedral. So a town, not a city. I'm gonna place it here in the Amazonia. The cost goes up to six gold now. He's gonna take this one. Let's pay my six. And I'm going to take the 5th military, I think. Or should I try and restrict his points? I think my military is worth more. I'm going to take this one. Uh, which means the cost now goes up to 7. I've only got 2 left. He's going to go. He's going to take this town. And we replace one of his settlers with a town. Doesn't really matter which. I'm going to do. I pass. It takes the last astronomy and then passes. And that is the end. Let's do our final scoring. Each city will give you three points. So let's see Rick and Automata. I've got two. I've got three cities, so that's nine points to me. Each town's worth two points, so two, four for me, six for the automata. Each settler gives you one for victory point. That's eleven for me, six for him. We're doing well at the moment. Cathedrals get to score those points again. So I've got one cathedral here, so that's two, three, four points for the cathedrals. Automata has two cathedrals, both for Pinta, so it's double points for every town, city and settler in Pinta, and that's twice. Fortunately, we limited him to just four settlers, so that's eight points for his cathedrals. Now let's consider our benefits that we've earned. Let's sort out the automatas. He's done rather better than I thought. Three arts. Four science, no military, and on religion, there's either Catholicism or Protestantism. And all you do here is you take whichever one has the most. So he could use his any religion and call it Protestant and make it three Protestant. Okay, the others don't count. I've also got three Catholic. The first benefit that you have is worth the number of cities in that world. So in the religion world, there's no cities. So the first Religion benefit is going to cost is going to give us zero points. There's two in art, so the first art we have is going to give us two points, and there's one in science. The first science is going to give us one point. So for religion with zero cities, that's naught plus one plus two for me. That's three. And three for him. For science, I've got none. One city in science. That's one plus two plus three plus four. That's ten points to him. And then finally for Arts, I have four with two cities in arts. That's two plus three plus four plus five, and two plus three plus four for him. That's nine for him, and fourteen for me. Military we count a little bit different. He doesn't have any. I've got five. This is a double, so that doesn't count. So it's five military. The first military benefit is equal in value to the number of cities placed. So one, two, three. So we're going to have 3 plus 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a whopping 25 points. 
military, the fact that I've been able to keep him out of military has done me in good stead. Finally, there's bonus points for Automaton. One each for these, and then one each for every five gold. That's a bonus of 15 points, I still think. I've whooped him. Final scores are 57 points to him, 70 to me. I've beaten him by 13 points. Wow. That's it. Look out for the final game. Do go back it on Kickstarter. The rules are still in development. I suspect we need to just make it a little bit tougher. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Really enjoy this one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.